In its simplest form, Lockhart's principle states that when there is contact between two items, there will be an exchange of something. Edmund Lockhart was a French medical examiner who in 1910 established the world's first lab dedicated to scientific crime investigation. It is impossible for a criminal to act without leaving traces of his presence. That was Lockhart's thesis. He was talking about burglars and murderers, but today a criminal may have an alternate identity. It may be the plastic water bottle to which so many people seem to be wedded. The exchange we are concerned about is between chemicals in the plastic and the water stored in the bottle. The issue originally concerned bottles made of polycarbonate, a hard plastic that was found to leach bisphenol A, a compound that has been accused of criminal activity ranging from hormonal disruption to cancer. As a result, polycarbonate bottles basically disappeared from the scene and were replaced by bottles that vigorously advertised themselves as being BPA-free. But as a study carried out at the University of Copenhagen revealed, uh, these may be free of BPA, but they may leach other compounds, thousands of them. The researchers filled new and used polyethylene bottles with water and after 24 hours, tested the water to detect any chemicals that had leached out using gas chromatography mass spectrometry. They did the same after the bottles had been cleaned in a dishwasher and followed up by testing again after the bottles had been flushed with water five times. An amazing 3,500 compounds traced to dishwashing detergent were detected, as well as more than 400 chemicals that leached out from the plastic. Hundreds of these were still detected after the bottles had been flushed with water and were then filled with fresh water. With the heat of the dishwasher, the components of the dishwasher detergent break down into thousands of compounds. The chemicals released from the plastic are comprised of various compounds used in plastics manufacturing that include slip agents that allow for easy removal from molds, plasticizers, antioxidants, catalysts, polymerization initiators, and colorants. But it is important to keep in mind that the presence of a chemical cannot be equated to the presence of risk. Some of the compounds detected, such as nonophenol and anthraquinone, are known to be toxic at high concentrations. But the effect of trace amounts, as found in this study, is unknown. If there is a risk from the numerous compounds detected, it would be from water stored in bottles that had been washed in a dishwasher and not flushed before filling. Metal or glass bottles do not raise such concerns. Keep in mind, though, that we are exposed to hundreds of thousands of both natural and synthetic compounds from our air, water, and food every day, many of which at high concentrations are toxic. Coffee contains a number of carcinogens, yet we know that coffee does not cause cancer. Still, it is a good idea not to eat plastics that will be used to store food or water in the uh, microwave and in the dishwasher. And I don't think there's a need to constantly walk around clutching a water bottle as if it were a lifeline. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.